Hello guys, Riya Shah here from Geeky Tech and in this video, I am gonna show you how to install the Lineage OS ROM that is the new name for the Cyanogen mode on your Redmi Note 3. So first go to xdadevelopers.com slash Redmi Note 3 and then go to the sex section where Snapdragon ROMs are available and click on the Redmi Note 3 Snapdragon ROMs kernels recovery option and there you can find many ROMs and the first ROM you find is the Mint's Lineage OS ROM so click on that and after clicking on that uh, sc scroll down and and don't forget to see that this is for the Redmi Note 3 Pro the Snapdragon version and the installation instructions are available first you have to factory reset and wipe your system and then you have to flash the Nougat firmware created by Abhishek and the link is available there then flash the ROM and then flash the gaps package and if you want you can flash the super su package also but you don't really need to flash the volt zip here first boot and see if volt works if the volt doesn't work then you need to reboot into recovery and then flash this rom and after finishing this procedure reboot and there are two builds available for separate for goodix and fpc so flash accordingly which device you have so let me show you how to install this by showing the recovery options so let's go to twrp recovery and so guys i have booted into my twrp recovery and go to wipe and advanced wipe select dalvi cache system data and the cache so you don't need to select the internal storage as it wipes that all the data in your internal storage like photos etc so i'm not selecting the internal storage and select wipe and it will take some time so after wiping go back and go to the install section and first install cm14.1 firmware and it will take some time so after that go to install section and again flash the rom the lineage OS ROM so it will take some 5 to 10 minutes so let's just skip finish the flashing and now go back and select the open gaps package and flashing this package will take some 2 to 3 minutes of time so let's just skip to the flashing procedure and now reboot system and after flashing the reboot time may be 5 to 10 minutes so wait patiently for the ROM to boot and I am just skipping this part and as you can see the animation here is not Cyanogen mode it shows Android and let's just skip to the boot screen and as you can see the linear OS logo is still not available it just shows Cyanogen mode so let me just go to the welcome screen and let me just set it up and I can show you the ROM the ROM is same as the Cyanogen mode and then there are not much differences so this is Riyasha signing off bye bye